Hicks, and that is a fall off of three and a half tenths from the first round. Well, let me tell you something. It isn't because the tire fall off. I, I believe it's because of the sun coming out. I think this track is heating up and very quickly right now. Sun's finally burning through the clouds. Yep. It's going to make this track hot and slick. And we saw Kyle Larson pointing skyward as uh, the sun popped through here. Todd Gillen, 22.54. He ran a 20 in the first round, so that's the same fall off as Truex. A There's two cars in a row sliding, sliding off the two. It's big time lose. It's going to be a great top 10 start, nonetheless, for Gillen. And you can just tell the sun shining on the race cars. It's for sure evident in a big way it's going to change this racetrack. Austin Sendrick, 22-18 in round one. Way up out of the groove. Yeah, you saw his car. There's a bump going into turn one that goes all the way across the racetrack, and as he crossed that, he had to correct to the right. Cars just don't seem to have near the grip in them they did the last time they were in them. And that's pretty normal here from, from the first round to the second round. You know it's going to slow down. You just don't know how much. 22.66 for Cindric. That's a fall off of almost half a second. Kyle Larson liking what he sees right now. He's hoping that sun stays shining bright on the racetrack. Down to Bubba Wallace and Chase Elliott to challenge Kyle Larson for the pole. And Bubba did a great job of hugging that yellow line in one and two. This is by far the closest we've seen anybody to Kyle Larson off the two. Can he hold suit down in three and four? Rotates back to the throttle. I think he's going to pay the price. Pointed the wrong direction up off. Had to lift at the wall. I really like how disciplined he is, though. He's taking what he can get out of the car, putting that car right against the yellow line through one and two. Parked a little more in three and four, trying to get it down. Got back to the throttle, still pointed the wrong direction on the exit. Needs one, two one thousands to move up a row, and he gets it with a 53. Down to his teammate. Wallace is fourth, and now it is Larson and Elliott for the pole. 22.43 is the time to beat. Chase Elliott falls off three tenths from round one. He'll be right there with Larson. Great winning exit. thousands. Yeah, let the car roll a little bit. It was a little slower to the gas, but when he went to it, he went back wide open. He's ahead of him right here, folks. Going to be close. Whoo, barely. Two one thousand. Still got a lap. Same thing on exit. Got back to the gas. Very affirmative. Back in the lead down the back stretch. Marked it in good in a three. Oh, he touched the apron right there. It's going to pay the price, too, because of it. Yep. And that is the difference. The second lap is slower by eight one hundredths, and Kyle Larson has won his 17th career pole and his first of the season. Regan? Well, Mike, that's right. First pole of the season for Kyle Larson as he gets congrats from the team. Kyle, you got everything right in that second round of qualifying. How much does this set your day up to be good for tomorrow now? Uh, it definitely helps for sure. I think the number one pit stall here means a lot. So, yeah, happy, happy to do that. Happy to be in group A for sure. And then the sun coming out a little bit there helps uh, also. So, um, yeah, Chase got uh, real close there. So I was a bit nervous, but yeah, this uh, awesome day for Hendrick Motorsports, uh, HendrickCars.com, Chevrolet, everybody involved. Um, Good to get another pole, so we'll see if uh, it translates to tomorrow's race. Thanks, Kyle. By two 1,000s, 